Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. Today I want to talk about some new features introduced in United India Family Medicare policy. I was informed about these changes when I asked my insurance agent to renew the policy for uh, this year. These changes are for the better and usually when the when uh, after we buy the policy when we talk about change it usually means that the premium is hiked by 30 to 20 30 percent but uh, not this time but uh, these are some good uh, changes that I want to talk to you about. So before I do that, uh, just to give you uh, uh, a background of what I have. So I have been using this, uh, I mean, having this United India policy for the, for the last almost 15 years. Uh, when my father got diagnosed with cancer uh, with and he did not have... Uh, uh, health insurance in uh, early 2006 I immediately got the policy so since then we have been having that so uh, for my mother the current cover is about 5.5 lakhs I uh, hopefully it be increased to 6 lakhs this time it's an individual policy for her uh, I also hold uh, individual policies for myself individual uh, 10 lakhs individually for individual t uh, policy 10 lakhs for my wife and uh, for my son is about uh, for about 5 lakhs or so I don't remember the amount something like that uh, on top of that, we also have a um, super top-up from United India. There's a separate super top-up for my mother, which is a 5 lakh deductible and 15 lakhs uh, uh, cover. And uh, we have also have a floater super top-up for myself, wife and child. Again, 5 lakh deductible, 15 lakh uh, super top-up. Uh, on top of this, I thought uh, because of the room rent limitations, uh, uh, I'll be talking about that. Um, I, I thought it will be good to buy a separate uh, um, uh, private insur insurance cover without any sublimits. But I didn't. I wouldn't get any, or I, uh, or at least uh, I asked my uh, uh, my friend Deepak Mendirata from PlanCover.com, and he is the one who got it for me. Uh, but I couldn't get one because of my pre-existing uh, health conditions. But my wife has. Uh, my wife and son have a policy from. Um, Future generally, that's the base cover for I think it's for f uh, 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs. I don't remember. I, it, there's a there's an article there. I'll just um, uh, you can link it. You can see it from the post. Uh, then there is a on top of that there is another super top up uh, from uh, Liberty Insurance for one crore for them. Uh, I don't have one. Now the reason why I did not port my policies from United India to private insurance is because I don't have. Uh, uh, a good opinion about private insurers, whether they are life insurers or health insurers or general insurers. Uh, I, the, uh, especially in the health insurance segment, their market share is very low compared to the PSUs and they uh, tend to uh, welcome you with a red carpet when you buy the policy, but I'm not sure about claims because I have made four claims in United in India and all of them have gone through. So I have a good experience with them and I don't want to get rid of that. So I bought another cover. So it's like having one base top, base plus super top up, and another base plus super top up. It's a lot of, it's a whole. Those those private covers policies are quite inexpensive because my United India alone is uh, has crossed one lakh now. Uh, the total cover for my mine, wife, son, and my mother. My mother, the cover will uh, almost half that price will be for my mother because of her age. She is now seventy, almost seventy four now. So so because of that so um i have this deep mistrust of uh, private insurers that's why i did not do it and i'm happy i did not do it because these these changes are good now uh, the big differentiator between private insurer and psu insurer is a room rent sublimit uh, but Oriental has come up with an option to remove those sublimits for an extra premium. So if you want, you can opt for that. Also, United India is also moving in the right direction. So what they uh, so what is a room rent sublimit? Now usually they will say that um, the uh, um, they will only pay uh, nursing charges, RMO charges, fluid transmission, whatever you see there, blood, oxygen, anything that the hospital differentiates in terms of room rent that is they will charge some uh, uh, fee for uh, non ac room they will charge some fee for higher fee for ac room higher fee, higher than that fee for deluxe room super deluxe room and so on so anything that is has a differentiator among rooms uh, as per the hospital policy that will come under the room rent supplement so if they say that uh, they will pay one percent of the 
some insured only for room rent then all the other uh, um, um, uh, uh, expenses like this shown will also come under the room rent and you, your uh, your uh, your uh, reimbursement will be less so your effective cover will be lower uh, but what uh, united india earlier had was 1% of some insured for the daily room rent instead of that they have now changed it to 1% of some insured or uh, standard ac room whichever is higher so for some hospitals if you go to standard ac room standard ac room means your bed will be there attender bed will be there there will be attached bathroom then ac the, the that's a stand, standard single room uh, uh, single occupancy standard ac room that for in some hospitals that standard ac room price may be higher than 1% of some assured if you go to high corporate uh, corporate office uh, hospitals like uh, apollo or kaveri and so on standard uh, room rent ac room single occupancy will be higher than 1% of some assured but now they say whichever is higher they will pay so that means i can uh, even go and get myself admitted into apollo and uh, avail this uh, i don't want to uh, hopefully ever uh, but i'm just saying it's now uh, it's now feasible so that that's a lot more flexibility and what is even better is that the uh, for icu the sublimits have been completely removed earlier it was 2% of uh, some insured but all this is only for 5 lakhs and above some insured not for less than that so that's a very interesting and useful change and also they have increased the daycare procedures from 60 to more than 200 so that's also a welcome move they have now introduced a uh, higher no claim discount now uh, united india does not offer no claim bonus that is they do not increase your sum insured what happens is they have some people increase their sum insured but that but once you claim all the bonuses will go to zero whereas this is a real discount in your premium for the first year of no claim you will get five percent discount in the premium next year of no claim you will get 15 percent discount so that's a that's a good benefit in my opinion then there is also a restoration benefit. So suppose if you get uh, uh, admitted for uh, illness X and uh, some amount of your uh, insurance is depleted, in the same policy year, if you get admitted for Y, illness Y, which is different from illness X, then you will get the full sum insured benefit. So the sum insured will be restored. So it's not a great benefit because the probability of it getting invoked is less, but still, uh, they, they, they are also the PSU are also trying to compete with the private players which is a uh, good uh, thing other benefits are organ donor benefit when the insured person is the donor then the lump sum payment of 10% they want to give robotic surgeries are included ambulance coverage has been increased inpatient hospitalization for men, uh, mental illnesses has now been included uh, cataract coverage seems to have reduced a little bit that's the only negative that I see but other than that uh, these are all uh, welcome changes so you uh, that's not bad uh, I, I should say if you have any questions on this please post